Now, a very smart guy. He's going to change the game world. Play Giga, please. Welcome to the stage. Welcome. It's yours. You got five minutes. Okay. Hi, 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 hi everyone. Uh, my name is Cesar. It's a pleasure to be here. And well, I am the founder of PlayGiga. The best way to introduce PlayGiga is to start talking about some incredible companies, very well-known companies like Netflix, Spotify, Amazon, or platforms like iTunes. As you all know, they change the world. They change their markets and they transform their industries. But incredibly, none of them cover one of the largest markets in the world. It's a market of $100 billion this year. It's a market bigger than music market and films market combined. It's video games. So that's right, PlayGiga is the Netflix of video games. PlayGiga is the most advanced cloud gaming platform in the world. With PlayGiga, you can play any game, anytime, anywhere, from any available device, such as your TV, your computer, your tablet, your smartphone, whatever, in an incredible gaming experience, just like your console. Full resolution, same feeling, but with no downloads and no installations. It's just click and play. It's real-time streaming. We have a few competitors in this space, but what differentiates us from our competitors is our cutting edge technology, is our disruptive technology. We only need two hours to inject every new game in our platform, whereas they need a month. As a result, they have 100 games in their libraries, and we have right now 2,000 games and counting. And this is key, completely key, if you want to have the best digital entertainment offer ever. So that's it. We have a lot of publishers, a lot of games. It's, well, awesome. So our business model is, well, a win-win situation for everyone involved. We get users through agreement with telcos, and it's based on revenue share. So it's great for the game publishers because we have another way, a massive way, to monetize their catalog. And we are talking about millions of new users playing their games into a new channel. And for the telcos, it's, it's fantastic, it's awesome as well, because they have another way, a very exclusive way, to add value to their broadband customers. So finally, well, we have achieved incredible milestones last year. We got funding, busy funding, and we, we got uh, agreements with two of the top five worldwide telcos to deploy the service in all the territories of their footprints worldwide. So apart from that, uh, we will have deployments next year in China, Japan, Korea, Thailand, as well as most of territories of Eastern Europe. So, well, including Poland, including Romania, well, a lot more. So we are growing uh, fast, very fast, and we are trying to democratize the access to, to video games. So, well, uh, right now we are going to, to see PlayGiga in, in action. This is not a live demonstration because we are very short of time, but if we all uh, want to, to check it out, we are not far from here, just 100 meters in our, in our desk, so uh, please do it. So what you are seeing is, well, you, you, what you have saw is the, the main menu, and well, very, very easy to understand, very friendly, uh, just choose your game, click and play, and now this is, well, the game performing. So the same uh, what you can see if, if you check it out in real time. So, well, uh, that's PlayGiga in, 
in more or less five, five minutes. Thank you, thank you very much. Wow, amazing. Thank you, my friend. Love it. You guys. Uh, so, um, well, you're basically in a content-driven business, so it's not your content. How, how much money do you need to, uh, how much capital do you need to have, how much money do you need to give to the uh, publishers in order to secure the content? Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Now, uh, okay, if I, um, if I have understood well, you are uh, asking for how, how, how much money uh, we need to put uh, in, uh, up front to, to buy the, the content. Uh, we, we don't pay anything up front. So uh, the, the, the core of the idea consists in uh, to monetize what uh, will have a value of zero for the publisher in the retail uh, a game with more than three months, four months, well, five months in some cases, uh, is very complicated to, to monetize. Mm. He's so not, you don't go for it prime not, content. Uh, it's more longer tail um, stuff, basically. Like, well, the, okay, there is a two approach to, to, to your question, if, if I'm right. Uh, we have uh, a long tail content in the subscription. Uh, method and uh, for the newer content, uh, there exists the rental. So the rental is incredible for publishers because they are having uh, a lot of money just for put the game in two days, three days. Well, we are not inventing anything here. So the 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 the, the model is is already invented, but not with video games. But it works very similar to movies or something like that. So upfront payment is very complicated because. The structure is absolutely, uh, well, it's very expensive and, well. So you pay them on usage then? Demo use, it's for free. Publishers uh, put them on usage. So Sorry. publisher, well, how, how do the publishers make money? How? Publishers yeah. make money. Revenue share. Oh, revenue share. So, yeah. and it's based on usage. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Met, um, a meta comment, these, all these startups are really awesome. I look at this as an example, and I'm like, okay, w why isn't this already huge? Or is there somebody else huge doing this? Um, why isn't Netflix doing it? And um, what I'm getting to as I think about this is maybe, is it the technology that's really changed? Uh, you know, a game is very different than streaming a, a movie. With a game, I'm uploading things, so latency r really matters. Um, the computation that's required uh, to, to process these games, are, what are those costs? Are those really high? Are those costs coming down? Is that why this is available now? Like, what's, what's changed around the technology that says now is the time this is going to happen? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, block by block. <laughs> okay. Uh, Streaming a, a game is uh, far complicated than to stream a video or stream music. is very complicated because we have a, a, a a high uh, barrier, a higher barrier of, of entrance that is capex. Uh, for example, a server. Uh, I don't know. A normal a computer can can serve uh, 1,000 1,000 threads of music or something. But uh, when you are talking about uh, serve a game real time, guaranteeing 30 to 40 frames per second in order to well to to bring a, a, a incredible user experience just like uh, playing in, in your computer in home. Uh, you need another kind of servers, you need another kind of technology, and you need, well, another kind of every, every, everything. So uh, technology now is ready to do that. Ten years ago, is what, it, is what, is was, it was not possible. And how so, much do you charge? Sorry? How much do you charge customers? Uh, pricing? Yes. Depend on the telco. So. Uh, well, normal would be, I, I don't know, I am, I am just talking about the figures, uh, 8 euros, 10 euros, five, uh, 15 euros, and it depends, a, yeah, it and depends. with the rev share and this computational load, you're, you can still make money on that? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. of course. <laughs> Christian? Yeah, so, <clears throat> One of the questions I have is Matt's question about why somebody else isn't doing this, right? It's, it's, it seems appealing. But actually, let's focus a bit on the user experience. These guys spend a lot of money building these beautiful games for PlayStation, and you're now going to make that game accessible through a web browser? How does that impact the user experience? 
uh, there is no impact at all. So user experience is just the same. So as I, to I told you before, full resolution, same feeling, so same frame rate, maintain frame rate. So there is no, no problem at all. So if you are talking about a pure user experience, so you, you have mentioned uh, PlayStation. So Sony, in this case Microsoft or Nintendo, Apple are closed circuits. So we are not talking here about console games. So uh, PlayStation has its own uh, channel, it's PSN or something like that. But this is uh, kind of different. I guess we have some people here on the stage, uh, here in the audience that wants to play. So they're asking about the controller. Okay. How can they do it? Do you have a universal controller? No, no, no. It's, uh, it works well. It's multi-platform. You can play uh, with an overlay, for example, in the smartphone. Or you have, you, you, if you have a wheel, you can, you can play with it, a, a path, a normal path. So a Microsoft pad, a Logic, Logi Logitech, or something like that. So, well. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, your time is over. Thank you.